Hey there students, so on this group we're going to be going over some examples on implicit differentiation. Uh, I'm just doing some practice examples just to sharpen your skills on how to differentiate implicitly, okay? So let's go ahead and start with uh, question number one. Uh, find dy dx and if the applicable express the result in terms of x and y. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the first one. So we want to find dy dx here. So we have 2x plus 4y equals negative 1. So we're going to differentiate with respect uh, to x. So we're going to have um, the derivative. We're going to differentiate this with respect to x. So this is going to be um, the derivative of 2x using um, the power rule is simply going to be 2 times dx dx. And then if you differentiate this with respect to x, it's going to be 4 times dy dx. And then when you differentiate, using the constant rule to differentiate negative 1, you're going to have um, 0. Okay? All right, now, uh, dx dx is simply 1, so you're going to have 2 plus 4 dy dx equals 0. So we, the goal now is to isolate dy dx, all right? So I'll subtract 2 from both sides, so that gives me 4 dy dx equals negative 2. And then just divide both sides by 4, and I'll have dy dx equals negative 2 over 4, which reduces to negative 1 half. So your final answer is C. Okay? All right, let's uh, take a look at number 2. Uh, we're going to differentiate that implicit through with respect to x. So let's rewrite the question. 5y minus 2x squared equals x minus 3. So if I differentiate this uh, with respect to x, I'm going to have 5 dy dx. You can just factor out 5 um, and then differentiate this with respect to x, you have dy dx. And then this one, if you factor out 2 and you apply the power rule to this, you're going to have 4x. 4x and then you minus 1 from the power, and then that's left with 1. dx dx, all right, equals, if you differentiate this, it's just simply 1 dx dx. And then the derivative of 3 is a constant rule, so you just differentiate the derivative of a constant is just 0. All right, so now let's simplify this a little bit further. We're going to have 5 dy dx minus 4x because dx dx is just 1 equals 1, dx dx is just 1, okay? Now, our goal is to um, isolate dy dx, so we just add 4x to both sides, so we have, um, I'm running out of space here, shift it over here, so we're going to have 5 dy dx equals 1 plus 4x, because we add 4x to both sides, and then, um, this cancels out. To get rid of the 5, you just divide everything by 1. Divide everything by 5 or multiply by 1 over 5. So if I multiply this by 1 over 5, to get rid of this, and then multiply that by 1 over 5 also. So these 5s cancel out. So you'll be left with uh, dy dx equals 1 plus 4x over 5. All right? Okay, let's take a look at the question. Uh, so our answer for number two is C. All right, let's take a look at question number three. Uh, we need to di differentiate this implicitly. Find dy dx. So we have 2y squared plus 7x squared minus 13 equals 0. So here we're going to use the power rule. So if we differentiate this, uh, we're going to have 4y dy dx. Plus, if you differentiate this using the power, we have 2 times 7, and then you subtract the 1 from there, you have 14x dx dx. And then uh, the derivative of a constant is 0, equals 0. Okay? All right, now we're going to go ahead and isolate dy dx, but let's simplify this a little bit first. So if we simplify this a little bit, we're going to have 4y dy dx plus 14x equals 0. Okay? So we get dy dx by itself, we move our 14x over and divide by 4y. So we subtract 14x from both sides, you have 4y dy dx equals negative 14x. 
and then divide both sides by 4y. Divide both sides by 4y, divide this by 4y. And then you're going to have, um, you're going to have uh, dy dx equals, if you divide this by 2 top and bottom, negative 7x over 2y. Okay? Negative 7x over 2y will be your derivative, your uh, dy dx. So your answer is option A. Okay? Alright. Now let's uh, take a look at another example. Example 4, I want to differentiate this implicitly, uh, 2y, um, 2y plus 9xy minus 4 equals 0. So, uh, if we differentiate this with respect to x, we're going to have 2 dy dx. And this one we need to apply the product rule because we have a product of two uh, functions. So we're going to have 9 times. Uh, so in this one we can call xu and call yv. So remember the product rule uv prime is basically, um, you, can, you can say uv prime plus uh, v u prime. Okay? So u is simply going to be x, v prime is going to be dy dx, right, plus, and then v is simply y, and then u prime is dx, dx, okay? And then if you apply the constant rule to differentiate 4, you're going to have minus 0 equals 0. All right, let's simplify this further. We're going to have 2 dy dx plus 9x dy dx. Plus, you see this dx dx, it reduces to 1, so it's just simply going to be uh, 9y. And then this whole thing equals 0. Okay? Alright, so the goal now is to is to isolate um, dy dx. So I can subtract 9y from both sides. So I'll have 2 dy dx plus 9x dy dx equals negative 9y, okay? And then, uh, notice I can factor out dy dx from these two terms, so if I factor out dy dx, I'll be left with 2 plus 9x equals negative 9y, all right? So to get dy dx by itself, finally I just divide both sides by 2 plus 9x, so I'll have dy dx equals negative 9y, divided by 2 plus 9x. And there goes uh, my final result. Okay? And that is consistent with option letter option letter B. Okay? Negative 9y over 2 plus 9x. Alright, let's move on to the next example. Um, example number 5. So we have um, x to the 7 equals cotangent y. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Uh, we have um, x to the 7. Just a minute. We have uh, x to the 7. x to the 7 equals cotangent y. Okay? Alright, so Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, if I differentiate this using the power rule, I'm going to have 7x to the 6th. to bring the coefficient, the power to the front, and minus 1 from the power, dx, dx. And then if you remember your trig differentiation rules, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant. So the negative of cotangent y is negative cosecant, I'm sorry, negative cosecant square, cosecant square y and then dy dx using the chain rule, okay? All right, so our goal here is to isolate um, dy dx. If I can isolate dy dx, then that will be my derivative, okay? But before we do that, let's simplify the left side. dx dx reduces to 1, so I have 7x to the 6th equals negative cosecant square y, dy dx. To finish this up, I'll just divide both sides by cosecant square y. Uh, so I'll have the y 
vx equals 7x to the 6th divided by negative cosecant square y. And that is consistent with option letter C. So that's our final answer. Okay, What's this. So there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to subscribe uh, to this channel so you can get our uh, future updates, more practice clips and calculus. Uh, you can also share you, the contents of the video with your friends via Facebook or Twitter. More videos can be found on MacroStore.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.